TMZ releases footage of Takashi 6 ix mansion getting shot up. And coincidentally, Slim 400 also extends an offer. You can't script this shit. Me and the notification gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9, 20 to 10 o'clock for morning coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. You got a choice. You got talent. You got a chance, and I won't hear about your environment, what your mama didn't give you, and the white man won't give you no shot. You got a chance. Use it while you're still alive. You don't know what death is. You have no idea what death is. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, buddy, people? I so. Yeah. So as we all know, Takashi 69 has relocated from Brooklyn, New York to Hollywood, California. At least for the time being, we don't know if he's going to be there for uh, any long period of time or anything like that. We just knows that as of recent, that's where he's moved. Him and all his security. So, okay, I'm just going to let you hit a clip of uh, Slim 400 speaking on something and then i'm gonna come right back and let you know what i think about it i got this tattoo on my back and niggas said i was a clown about it i stood up for the coast that's the same shit niggas gonna do because why you in a rap game beef is beef nigga who gonna, who, who gonna stand to be the man all this that you doing is for nothing. Go on and simmer down a little bit, my nigga. <laughs> or go and come holler at a nigga. You see what I'm saying? I don't cost that much, my nigga. Come holler at my peoples. You see that you see that at name on my motherfucking Instagram? Holler at my nigga. And we can talk about some, you know what I mean, some numbers. Since your boy said, um, I'll get your bank account good. Uh, I'll just line you up for shows. Line me up then. Let me see what y'all talking about, nigga. I need a hundred bands or more. You know what? Fuck all that. I need two hundred. And I'll stop all this shit in LA. Period. Point blank. Bought the power road. And it's still ice water. We going the fuck up. We dropping singles after singles every other fucking week. Look for that new shit, nigga. And shout out to my nigga Yellow Bees. Coming soon to the BBN Network. Hip hop owes its beginnings to the South Bronx. In the 1970s, the overall lifestyle created by the borough's crime, poverty, police oppression, and lack of recreational outlets culminated in a perfect storm of revolutionary creativity. The abandoned buildings and vacant lots of rubble gave way to a carefreeness that created a need for self-expression. While the Renaissance is a period in European history, covering the spans between the 14th and 17th century, where the grand architecture helped influence the poets of that time to create signs of love, the South Bronx's dilapidated buildings, plethora of garbage, and violent crime gave way to the voice of the poverty and the oppressed. The days of disco, which was music that was for celebration, were coming to an end. The generation that closed their eyes to the squalid lifestyle that was created by the lack of governmental oversight were being aged out. Pop culture became unpopular. Disco music did not represent the lifestyle of the South Bronx, and the up-and-coming generation was well aware. And having nowhere to fit in, the inhabitants of the South Bronx created their own lane. Hip-hop. The culture. Just so we can be clear. It sounds like Slim is saying 200 grand and they get off his ass. Okay, now, um, see, this is the thing about that. Takashi 69 has been in quite a few different situations where many people believe he's just trolling. It's some kind of publicity stunt this, publicity stunt that. Okay, but I don't think, personally, this is me speaking, I'm just saying... I don't think that he's going to do a publicity stunt 
when he's supposed to be actually shooting a real video with people who are most likely not in on it. I don't see, this is just me saying this, I don't see Kanye West getting in on something like that. I don't see a Nicki Minaj getting in on something like that. And to boot, just so we can be clear on this, the the, the room that was shot up was previously supposed to have actually been Takashi's dressing room or whatever the case might be. And they switched it over to Nicki Minaj's room. And Nicki Minaj wasn't there at the time. So if that particular room had not been switched over or from Takashi to Nicki Minaj, or if that particular room would have been switched over from Takashi to Kanye West, there's a chance that there could have been people in the room while it was getting fired on. Now, from um, everything I've heard so far, they just said some glass broke the windows. They hit the window a couple of times. I mean, let's be honest. They're like trying to stand like they're trying to stand on like milk crates or some shit and shoot over a wall. Like, <laughs> I'm not trying to make light of this shit, but I'm just saying they're shooting over the wall. There's not like they were like, you know, somewhere where you could, you know, fire a gun the way that a gun was intended to be fired. So you could be have accuracy. If anything, this looked, uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm just, this is just my opinion, but if anything, I wouldn't be surprised if this was, uh, done as a warning more than they really just showed up to try to, you know, finish people off. Anyway, TMZ actually has footage of this. Uh, I'll, if I remember to put the link in the description, I'll put the link in the, I mean, forget that shit sometime, but TMZ has it. I'm going to try to remember to put the link in the description. If I forget, somebody please say, yo, the link ain't in the description. So I can go find the shit and put it in there. I have the link. I just got to, anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, um, oh man, oh man. Anyway, so you can see from the TMZ footage that I'm not going to use because I have so much problems getting my videos monetized. So I'm not going to use the TMZ footage just so we can be clear. Um, you can see from the TMZ footage that, uh, and it's not grainy footage either. So from, from what I, from what I was informed of, they might actually be able to zoom and enhance. And if they could zoom and enhance, then maybe they could get a plate number or something like that. I'm not doing the FBI's job or the police job for them. I'm just telling the regular viewing public that there's an option out there for these people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just want to be clear on that. I don't understand some people that I don't know. They think, I don't know. Some people think I'm like the smartest guy on the planet or something. I don't get it. Anyway. So, um, They have the, uh, there was, they, they, it was said to have been two cars. There was one car that the first people had actually got out of. Then they looked, got over the wall, they fired. And then there was another car that was trailing them. And that car allegedly, 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 because I didn't see the car in the footage, but they said that there was one over there. Who knows? They probably talking about from a different, um, angle or from a different camera. They saw a different car that actually bust the Yui after the shooting. And after the uh, the initial car drove off in it straight, they actually bust the Yui. So we'll see what happens. I mean, I'm not 100% sure. The, the irony, this would be the irony. This would be the irony that let's say that was some kind of publicity stunt, which I don't believe it was a type of kind of publicity stunt. I don't prescribe to that notion that people are out there firing firearms and anybody could get hurt and anybody could get injured and it's some kind of publicity stunt. I don't prescribe to that notion. It's, I just don't. So, uh, what would be ironic, what would be really funny though, is if it was some kind of publicity stunt, which I don't think it was. And Slim 400 is now using that particular, uh, you know, something that he probably had nothing to do with. And I'm, and I'm going on record to say, I don't think he had, I don't think anyone had anything to do with anything. Let me just say that. I, this was ghosts or some shit. I don't know. I, I don't think anybody has anything to do with anything. But what I'm saying is if, if he's trying to, uh, bring a little bit more, uh, visibility to his name by saying the 200,000, cause they're not going to pay these guys any money. They're not going to give them any money. You understand what I'm saying? He might as well be saying 200 million. 
They're not going to give these guys any money. If you realize when he said how much money it was, it was pretty arbitrary. He was like a hundred, a hundred stack. He was like, you know, hundred rack, whatever. And then he said like 200, you know what I'm saying? It was an arbitrary number. They don't expect these guys to give them anything. Zero zilch. I don't expect them to give them anything either. Just so we could be clear. Um, but I, I, I've been following the story this long. Obviously, I'm going to keep up with the updates. If anybody's interested in knowing what's going on with this. Um, but like I said, you... Okay, for the people who have ever never actually came to Morning Coffee, once or twice a week on Morning Coffee, that's a show that we do on this particular channel in the mornings at 9.40, 9.40 in the morning, Monday through Friday, uh, where at least two to three, two two days out of the week, one one to two days out of the week, we, we do a motivational day where we talk about, uh, you know, different things that, that can help us self-building. You understand what I'm saying? And... One of the main things that I'm usually always talking about in all the live streams have to do with the energy that we put out and the energy that we allow ourselves to receive. And I think that it's very important to put out positive energy or to put out good energy. You understand what I'm saying? There's a difference. You understand what I'm saying? There really is a difference between positive energy and good energy. But to make sure that we're always putting out good energy and only allowing good energy to come back to us, to not receive negative energy. When you're trolling, you're not putting out good energy. When you're responding to trolls, you're not, you're not, you're allowing yourself to receive energy that isn't good energy. You're allowing yourself to receive bad energy. It's only but so long that somebody could continuously do this before, you know, something happens that's you know, eye opening. I don't know no other way to put it. I'm not wishing bad on no one. I want everyone to succeed. I want, I want all of us to go get that bag. I want all of us to live happy lives. But sometimes we got to want this type of shit for ourselves. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.